We recognise that this will mean it's not possible or fair for all exams to go ahead this summer as normal. If Cameron and Liam were looking for reassurance tonight, well, instead, the Prime Minister's given them twin concerns. No school and no exams. So how do they get the GCSE grades they need? I do want to do my GCSEs. And, like, if we don't do our GCSEs, like... I don't feel like I'm going to achieve what I want to do. I just don't understand it, not going to lie, because it's kind of like... He's saying that we're going to do our GCSEs, but how are we going to do our GCSEs? Like, he's saying that he, he's going to support us, but like, how is he going to support us? I don't really understand. I just want to check that you've received our message. We're doing online lessons at school tomorrow. This is the call um, that will now go out across the country. At Anderton Park Primary in Birmingham, they'd already begun making it. We've been here since very early this morning, at 7 o'clock, all of us, trying to work out the best way forward. Now the government's deciding for them, closing all schools to most pupils, as the head here had been planning. We hear phrases like, this is spreading like wildfire from doctors. It's out of control from Matt Hancock. Those phrases do not make me think, yeah, it's absolutely fine to open as we, as we were in, in December. Um, because it's, it's, not, it's not the same. Things have changed and things have changed very rapidly over even the last few days. And now the government's policy has two. All primary and secondary schools will stay closed from tomorrow until mid-February. As during the first lockdown, the children of key workers will still be allowed into classrooms, as well as vulnerable children, which includes those in care and with special educational needs. But all other pupils will have to learn from home. What the government now needs to do is what it didn't do in the summer. It needs to prepare for remote learning. It needs to make sure that children are being fed at home, they're being safeguarded. It needs to help with their mental health. Those are concerns for parents too, with just a few hours notice. At drop-off, schools were staying open. At pick-up, they were due to close. The safety, yeah, I understand the safety, but what about the children like, that they're missing out on all education? I definitely don't feel like you can give what a school can give by being at home, definitely not. I think I'm OK with them being at home, to be honest, at least they're safe at home. The government must now find a way to balance those risks. Can empty classrooms really provide a full education? Paul Brand, News at 10, Birmingham.